what's up guys? I'm Moto Chris. Welcome back to my channel. I am on a new motorcycle right now. Don't laugh. I just want you to know on this channel we don't discriminate. We don't discriminate displacement. We don't discriminate number of cc's. We don't discriminate color. Female, male. All riders are welcome. Including riders of 50 cc scooters. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! I am pinned on the throttle right now, guys. I'm still catching a little bit of speed, believe it or not. You know what? For a scooter, this isn't all that bad. <laughs> so let me tell you guys a little bit about this thing. You, watching right now, can find a scooter like this one in perfect, oh god, we're starting to slow down a bit, in perfect running condition for around $500. Just look on your Facebook Marketplace, look on Craigslist, look on OfferUp, wherever you live, and I can almost guarantee you that you can find one of these for around $500. And this one is in perfect running condition. Um, it's a scooter, obviously, so right now it looks like we're going 28 miles an hour. Uh, I think the speed limit is 35. So uh, thank God I am wearing my full leathers because this is actually making me a little bit nervous. But I just can't help and think how cool I look in leather pants, boots, a leather jacket, and complete track gear riding this scooter around. I consider myself a motorcycle connoisseur. If it's got two wheels and a motor, guess what? I'm riding it. <laughs> it's street legal here in Colorado. You can ride this thing and you don't even need a motorcycle endorsement. All you need is your driver's license and you go to the DNV, you pay like 10 bucks for a little sticker that you can put on the back of it and you're all good it's registered now let's turn in here because we are actually on our way to get ready to sell this thing so i've got to take it to the car wash um, i've got to top it off with a little bit of gas and get it ready for the next owner and it should be good so if you guys are willing come with me on this epic adventure so i can show you guys this epic little chinese scooter that you can get for 500 bucks let me pull over and i can show it to you guys a little bit more I don't live here, so we're gonna try to make it quick. Anyways, <laughs> here it is. Go check it out, guys. I really didn't do much to this thing, honestly. Um, besides maybe clean the carb a little bit, there was a little bit of rust on those little chrome pieces that you see right there on the exhaust, and uh, put a new battery in it because it didn't come with one. And so, um, yeah, here she is. Look at that, it's got turning signals, it's got a brake light, and I have to actually left that signal on. It's been so long, so, so long since I've been on a motorcycle. It's cute, I guess. <laughs> this is what my life has come to. You get your motorcycle stolen, don't take care of your shit. This is what happens, you get demoted. Let's go to the car wash, man. Let's do it. I'm having fun riding this thing, that's all that matters. And I hope you guys have fun watching me ride it. Pretty much any time you get on this thing, you've got to be full throttle. I'm full throttle right now, and it's actually not bad off of the line. It's fully automatic, so it's got no clutch. Front and rear brake, both up here. And such a blast to ride if you're riding like short distances. However, when it comes to hills and jumping on main roads like this, it is making me a little bit nervous. But I'll tell you what, if you're a college student, you live in a small town, and you just need something to ride around campus, maybe help you, I don't know, pick up some groceries, this thing has got a ton of storage. I'm going to show you that um, as soon as we get the chance. I'm full throttle right now. Oh my gosh, I am going so slow. Because once we get past this hill, eventually we'll start to pick up a little bit more speed. This isn't that bad. This is not bad at all. Especially if all you've got is 500 bucks, you've never ridden a motorcycle before. This is not bad. I can see how this can teach you. I mean, look, it counter steers. Woo! Oh, and it's super light. It's not bad at all. Like, if, like as I was saying, if you haven't ridden the motorcycle and you want to get into motorcycling, something like this, you don't have to learn how to clutch. You don't have to learn how to shift. If you can ride a bike, you can ride this thing. 
you know, maybe hold on to it to f for a few weeks. Maybe sell it after that and so you can actually save up enough money to get yourself a motorcycle that shifts. But for 500 bucks, dude, I mean, you can't really complain with something like this. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's a kickstand down. This thing has got a center stand, so it's super, super, super convenient when you've got to do a little bit of work on it, maybe like an oil change. One thing that I absolutely adore about this is the fact that it has storage, so check this out. Pop the key in there, and voila! I've got some waters in here because, you know, obviously riding in full gear, you got to stay hydrated. It's hot as balls out here. May pass out of heat exhaustion. So we'll see. Got a little bit of armor all, some sponges and rags so we can wipe the thing down and clean it. Um, but it's pretty solid, dude. I know some people who have turned this into like a little, I don't know, like a little cooler, some sort of compartment. People go pick up groceries and all the time. Um, <laughs> turn it into a little cooler, throw some delicious beverages in there so you can drink while you're riding water, obviously, and soda. And yeah, man, it's just... A solid little scooter for 500 bucks. Let's get some change and let's wash this baby. Oh, and actually, before I forget, it's got little storage down there too. I put my phone in there. Let's get all up in there. All right, my dudes, let's get right back to it. Go! Hell yeah! Let's go! Maybe not. Come on, bro. Kill my speed here. It takes me a whole ass half an hour to get up to 40 miles an hour. You're gonna kill me here. I wish I could go faster. I feel bad for anybody behind me. So now we are headed to the gas station, but not just any gas station. There's this particular gas station just right up the street from where I live. Hey, that's cool scooter, fuck yeah. I think I might have just gone my people. Are they coming this way? I hope they are. To this certain gas station just right up the street from where I live. And they have the best, the only beef jerky that I have ever liked in my entire life. Stick around, I might just show you guys what kind of beef jerky it is so you can go to your local gas station and buy it. <laughs> no, but seriously, we are pretty much only going there to get this beef jerky just because it's so good. And it's ridiculously expensive. I think it's like $20 for like an eight ounce bag or something like that. I can't remember. It's really expensive, but it's totally worth it. We'll be there eventually. No worries. It's fine. It really doesn't like hills. 25. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I'm sorry. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the content. <laughs> I know that I'm not riding the most exciting of vehicles, but hey, like I said, um, it's only temporary. 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 Can't talk. It's only temporary until we get something else. It should be either tonight or tomorrow. As soon as this bad boy sells, I'm already on the hunt to get something else. I chickened out. Damn it. It's okay, we've got a slight hill still left ahead of us so we can catch some speed to make it up the next one. cool thing about these things too is that you can park them on the sidewalk 
not that I have any need to park it at the sidewalk here, but if you're like downtown in downtown Denver, anywhere like that, I could see how that can be handy. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, guys. Here it is. No man's land. Hot beef jerky. 17 grams of protein. Made in the USA. And it's like $17 for a 7 ounce bag of jerky. It's not as expensive as I thought it would be, but so expensive nonetheless. The street rassy it up, my dude. Woo! Oh god, it slid. What's up, my dudes? Um, my SD card um, was full because I guess I had taken too much video today. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be for me to make a video about this thing, but good thing was that I was able to delete some footage, um, some old footage. And um, I'm just going to conclude the video right here. So here is the Tao Tao 50cc scooter that you can get for 500 bucks if you look. And hopefully you guys had fun watching me ride it. Um, you know, I, I bash this thing just because it's a scooter and because it's small and blah blah blah. And I'm such a hypocrite because I hate it when people do that with 300cc sport bikes. Um, but in reality, this thing is really fun, man. Like I said, anything with two wheels and a motor, I am a slut for. And I have fun riding them. So, here it is. The 50cc Tau Tau Moped. It's a lot of fun for the amount of money that you get and if you just need something cheap to get around with really good gas mileage in a small town here's your answer brother here is your answer you know what it might not get your adrenaline pumping like a sport bike but it is sure nice just cruise around on just relax maybe I'll get a pair of these for me and the lady and we can just go on little strolls together. Just around the neighborhood. It's perfect for that. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm ending the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave some suggestions down below if you guys have any other videos that you want to see. But until then, I'll see you guys next time when I've got another little cool bike to make a video on. Peace.